Recent intel confirmed the progression for each of the three starting specializations. And I say starting because there's multiple to come after launch. The skill tree for each specialization consists of multiple categories and each category containing multiple modifiers. It's categorized in signature weapon, general modifiers, weapon modifiers, skill modifiers and miscellaneous. Let's take a look. Sometimes stealth is just not an option. Demolitionists are agents of chaos, focusing on disrupting enemy plans and entrenched positions using a grenade launcher as their signature weapon. The demolitionist wields the M32A1 multi-shot grenade launcher. And starting with the general modifiers, we have Incombustible, which increases burn resistance by 20%, Explosive Ordnance, increasing explosive damage by 25%, affecting explosive grenades, skills and effects, Vital Protection, reducing the chance you are critically hit in conflict by 20%. And Demolition is Tactical Link, increasing damage to targets out of cover by 5% for every group member. Following it up are the weapon modifiers, adding Fragmentation Grenade, replacing your grenade slot with a grenade that deals damage and causes targets to bleed. Dicera Special, adding a .357 Magnum Revolver to your arsenal. Gunslinger, increasing sidearm damage by 10%. Signature Weapon Damage, increasing your Signature Weapon Damage by 145%. Spray and Pray, increasing SMG Damage by 15%. Onslaught, increasing LMG Damage by 15%. And Small Laser Point, adding an underbarrel attachment for short and long rails. The skill modifiers consist of Artillery, unlocking the Artillery mod for the turret, which launches Ordnance at nearby target locations. Cyclone Magazine, adding a mod that increases the turret's ammunition count and the Shade CPU V.2, a mod that increased the turret's damage. The last category also holds the most modifiers, adding Ixtat Armor Kit Supplementary, changing your armor kit to repair 70% damage and boost weapon handling by 100% for 15 seconds. On completion, an additional 30% repair occurs. 40mm Grenade Acquisition drops signature weapon ammo when you get explosive kills, with the exception of explosive kills with a grenade launcher. Group Signature Ammo Supply, granting a chance to gain signature weapon ammo to all group or raid members upon getting explosive multi-kills. Crisis Response reveals your main weapon ammo when armor is reduced to zero. Brace for Impact allows your agents to ignore explosions, which can happen every minute. And the final one is the Demolitionist Uniform, which provides an outfit for the Demolitionist. For agents looking at taking out their targets at a range, without them ever realizing what hit them, sharpshooters can change the tide of battle from afar, using a powerful 50 cal sniper rifle as their signature weapon. The sharpshooter wields the TAC 50C sniper rifle, a rifle supporting .50 BMG rounds that can penetrate multiple enemies and trigger weak points through targets while decompression shockwave from any hit targets damage other nearby hostiles. On top of that, the attached scope also highlights enemy weak points. Let's take a look at its general modifiers. One in the head, increasing headshot damage by 25%. Deft hands, upping your reload speed by 30%. Breath control, increasing your weapon stability by 30% and reducing recoil. My home is my castle, increasing armor while in cover. Vital Protection, which is similar to the one from the Demolitionist, and Sharpshooter Tactical Link, adding 10% headshot damage to all group members when they are closer to the target than you. For the weapon modifiers we have Flashbang Grenade, replacing your standard with a grenade that can blind enemies. The Sharpshooter 93R, a 3 round burst 93R, Gunslinger, increasing sidearm damage by 10%. Signature Weapon Damage, increasing Signature Weapon Damage by 145%. This is my rifle, upping the Marksman Rifle Damage by 15%. And Digital Scope, adding the option of a Digital Scope for bigger distances. Skill Modifiers at Tactician, a mod for the drone that marks enemies for all group members. Graphene Battery, which doesn't have a description but will most likely extend its duration. And Carbon Fiber Frame, which doesn't have a description either but it probably increases its armor. Miscellaneous, the final category holds Ixted Armor Kit Supplementary, allowing the armor kit to repair 50% less, but removes status effects and increases bleed, burn and hazard resistances for 20 seconds. .50 Caliber Ammo Acquisition drops signature ammo when landing headshot kills, with the exception of the Tech 50C rifle. 
group signature ammo supply, granting a chance to gain signature weapon ammo to all group or raid members upon getting kills with the Tech 50C rifle. Round after round allows you to receive 5 ammo per 10 seconds for your rifles after 20 seconds in cover. And finally, Marksman Uniform, adding the sharpshooter outfit to your loadout. Survivalists can control their surroundings using traps and status effects. They are equipped with a precision crossbow as their signature weapon to take targets down even in the harshest of environments. The survivalist is equipped with an explosive tipped crossbow allowing for precision shots that stick the arrow on its target for a contained detonation able to damage surrounding enemies in a blast. Starting off with the general modifiers, we have Elite Defense, increasing protection from elites by 20%, Triage Specialist adds 25% increased healing from team members, Crunch Time reduces cooldown reduction by 10% when in cover, Vital Protection, which is similar to the others, and Survivalist Tackling increases damage for group members by 10% against targets with status effects. For the weapon modifiers, there are Incendiary Grenades, replacing your standard one with one that ignites enemies. Survivalist D50, adding a .44 Magnum revolver with an optical attachment slot. Gunslinger, adding 10% increased sidearm damage. Signature weapon damage, increasing the signature weapon damage by 145% again. Running the gun, adding 15% shotgun damage. EMI, increases assault rifle damage by 15%. And Infantry 5.56 Mag, adding a special magazine for 5.56 assault rifles. The skill modifiers are interesting too, with Flicker adding a Seeker Mind that follows allies and repairs their armor, Magnetic Disc, a mod reducing Seeker Mind cooldown, and Larea Tridentata Infusion, a mod increasing the healing of the Seeker Mind. Which brings us to the final category, the miscellaneous modifiers, which have Distributed Repair, change your armor kit to now repair over 5 seconds instead of instantly, but the repair effect now also applies to team members within a radius of 10 meters. Explosive Bolt Acquisition, dropping signature weapon ammo upon getting status effect kills. Group Signature Ammo Supply, granting signature weapon ammo to all group or raid members upon getting status effects multi-kills. Scraping by, adding 5 ammo per second for your current weapon when moving from cover to cover while in combat. And finally, the Survivalist Uniform, which is an outfit for the Survivalist. It's interesting to see the progression in the skill trees for each of the specializations and how it not only awards bonuses but also adds role specific mods for weapon skills and changes the way armor kits are used. This way the specialization you choose matters to winning a battle and it also adds to gear diversity. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed or used this guide I would like to ask you to like, dislike, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in intel briefs on the factions, stories in general and weapon and build blueprints. To end the video, I have a question for you. What is your specialization of choice and why? I'm hands down going for this 5 list first, since I'm a healer or support player. I love the explosive tip crossbow, the Seeker Mind's unique healing mods and the multiple modifiers that can boost your squad's effectiveness. Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.